Uh, this video will demonstrate uh, backing up your uh, six data. So um, it's a good idea to back up your data regularly. You might want to do this um, daily, weekly, monthly, um, but there is no automatic backup of our uh, six server data. So um, something that you're going to want to consider and you need to be a six administrator to do this. So um, right now in this video, you see I'm on, I'm actually logged into a six client. And the reason for that is I'm going to go make sure that all my projects are checked in. So let's go to start projects and manage projects. And here I can see that um, my admin login is showing that I've got three projects checked out to my machine. Now, you would also see any other projects that are checked out to other users on their machines. And you're going to want to get them to check in all their project files prior to running this backup so you get a solid backup of your most current data. Um, so in this case, uh, I'm going to use the nice new function in six check in all and check in all my products at one time. And now that once I've done that, um, I'm ready to back up because I can see that there's nothing else out here that anybody else has checked out. So what we'll do now is uh, you're gonna want to close out of the six client. So you can either X out of it here or you can go over to the start menu to exit out. But let's go ahead and close that. And now you're gonna want to go into your six server manager console. And uh, that's down here. Now, the reason you see this on my machine is because I'm running my server and my client on the same machine. That may not be the case for you. You may need to go over to your server machine and open this from there. Go ahead and double click that to open this. And the primary function of this is to back up uh, or restore um, six data. So I'll go ahead and uh, click backup six server. And this uh, little warning here is just letting you know, check in all projects that are checked out for you. Make sure that all users are, um, you know, close out of the software so they're disconnected from the SI5 server. Uh, don't actually disconnect from the SI5 server, just close out of it and that, and that will be sufficient. And you need to check this to confirm that you've done that. Hit continue. And uh, that will open up just a window here where you browse to where you want to put your backup. I'll go ahead and click that. And uh, I'll put it right on my C drive here. I'm just going to make a new folder and call it um, D Tools Backup. Now you could, of course, date this if you want. I'll go ahead and put 2812. It's a habit I get into, even though, of course, the file will be dated when it's created. And uh, go ahead and click Backup 6 Server. And this is going to create a zip file for you with all of your projects and your data. And you can see that was done pretty quickly. Just hit OK. And now I have a backup. So in case of an emergency, I can always restore my sick server. Um, now, it's not always just for emergency purposes. Um, oftentimes when you're running the trial of six, you may install the uh, server and the client on the same machine like I have here. But once you go into production with your company, you want to maybe put the server on a, on a dedicated server or at least another desktop machine, something that um, everybody has access to on your network. Uh, so this is how you would do that too. You would run the backup like I just did and then simply go install the six server on the new machine, register it, uh, open this, and then choose to restore the six server and point it to that zip file that you just created.